Hello, folks. Uh, every now and then, uh, there is something that that's, that's there as an idea which sticks in the head, and then we 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 we, we keep it aside and say we'll execute it later on. We'll think about it later on. We'll and then that that later on just keeps getting later on and delayed. And so, one of my themes was to somehow depict more visually the parts that we learn. Right? And I completely forgotten about this idea. And then Armand Ragu, uh, he did a ton of things and he built this beautiful engine. Right, so I'm going to do a very quick demo. What does this do? This is about circular races. So every time we had circular races, I have had a tough time telling people that when you overtake, you catch back. That means you've done exactly one round extra. But the idea of gaining one round over the slower runner to catch back is completely, uh, it's not something that is intuitively grabbed. People used to say, what do you mean catch back? How do I come back? When does it happen? I say clocks may have time in running races, this happens and you're lapping out in formula one, this happens, but it doesn't sit well. But this is brilliantly set up. And so many, many, many thanks to Raghu, hats off. Uh, this has a couple of input points. You can put this in. And so say the speed of the hair is seven units. Speed of the tortoise is five units. And they are going in the same direction. And then you click submit. And there is beautiful video comes out, beautiful uh, visualization where the hare is running ahead of the tortoise and then how many, where are they, how many laps have they completed each time, and then it's gaining on it, and then finally catches up with it at this point where the hare has done 3.5 laps, tortoise has done 2.5 laps, their ratio in the number of laps is 7 is to 5 which is what we keyed in, the difference in the number of laps is 1, yeah that should happen because that tortoise is, is there and the hare is catching up with it, so visually the idea is compelling. Not just this, it's not just one visualization. You can go to this URL, which again is available in description, probably in comments somewhere. So click on this, and have a play. Right? So this is a big thing, it's a very fun thing. You just put in some number here, one number here, and then put same or opposite, and then see it happening. It could be the thing that says, Oh my god, that, that makes the whole idea of circular races just fall in place. I'm hoping, like mad, it does. Uh, once again, uh, many many thanks to Raghu for pull, pulling this off because it's uh, it's not it's not been easy. But it's very well done. It just uh, simplifies that idea. If you have any other idea that you say, hey, maybe we should try this. Maybe this this can be simplified like this. Do drop us in comments uh, and, and and share your thoughts and feedback and stuff. Right? Best wishes. Bye.